Hi and welcome. There are some exciting updates in the October 2022 release of Lightroom Classic. You've got to see them. In this video I'll show you a real game changer because it allows you to remove spots and blemishes using Adobe's AI technology. Now this tool is the Content Aware Remove tool. So let's dig in and find out what it's all about. Okay, let's go and have a look um, at the, this new tool, this new phenomenon. Um, and it's up here in the local adjustments toolbar. Uh, and there's this new panel set. And here, if I click on that, you'll see, and if I hover over it, you'll see this is the healing set. Um, and it's got a keyboard shortcut of Q. Uh, now there's three tools in here. Um, there's the one is the healing and one is the clone tool and they've been with us forever so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going into them the new one in the stable is the content aware remove now this is for getting rid of, of basically spots and small blemishes it's not really good um, for major things but for the job if you get the right job for it it's absolutely brilliant now I just want to show you on this, we, we have got a lot of sky around the outside of it, that's good. I can change the brush size in here, or I can change it with the square brackets on the keyboard, or if your mouse is set up for it, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Okay, now we, we can do this in several different ways, so let's use a smaller brush. And I'll just show you basically what not to do. If we just go around this quickly and try and get it all in and let go, it's probably not going to do a good job, exactly like it's done here. Now what we need to do, let me just go and reset that, is we need a slightly bigger brush and we want to define a bigger area. Don't go too tight. So here I'm going to go all the way around this, leave some spare pixels around it. There we go. And when I let go, it'll do a brilliant job. And oh, there's one down here as well. Look at that one. Yeah, we'll get that one as well. Okay. Now, all right, well, let's have a look when it doesn't work. What you can do. So we'll reset that. We'll just give it a little bit so we know it's not going to do a good job. Oh, yeah, that is pretty awful. All right. But what you can actually ask um, Lightroom to do is to recalculate. Uh, and you can do that a couple of different ways. The, the first one, if I move inside the selection and right click, we've got select new source. And that's got a, a keyboard shortcut of the forward um, slash. And if I click on that, what it'll do is it'll go and fetch some pixels from somewhere else now. I, I don't know where, but it, it, it goes and fetches pixels that it thinks it likes uh, and would make a good fit. Uh, if I press the forward slash again, forward slash again, forward slash again, yeah, it's not going to make a great deal of difference because this was a, a really bad selection. But I'm just showing you how it works. Now you can manually define a select uh, define an area to use and um, by that i mean when you've got a, a one thing selected like this if you hold the control key down you can click and drag and marquee out um, an area an oblong square whatever you like and when you let go it'll use those pixels to try and fill this in for you and you can see in this occasion it's not doing a good job i'll try another one and it's just pretty ropey all round. So I'll reset that and we'll just make a nice big selection all the way around this. And when I let go, bing, it does a pretty good job. And there's another one down here, so we'll get rid of that one as well. Okay, let's get a little bit more um, technical. Okay, here we've got a puffin that I want to get rid of. Again, it's got a pretty nice even sky behind it, but it's it's bigger in the frame. And this means it could cause me a bit of a problem if I wanted to get rid of it. So again, if I go around that fairly tight, it may or may not do a good job. Let's have a look. 
Mm, no, it's done a pretty good job. And, and what you can do is you can see this white area that defines your selection. If you move your mouse off the image, it'll disappear. So if it gets in your way, it, it, you can move it out of the way and then just come back and it comes back. Now it's done a really good job here, except this bit in the middle. Now, because this is an, an area that you've defined, you can't define another point in it. But what you can do is define another point outside it. So if I click and drag there and just highlight that piece, there it was, gone. So you can, if, you, if it's not bad, if it's nearly right, you can make it right by just defining another point. OK, let's get a little bit more detail. Here we've got the little puffing coming down, but we've got a reasonably detailed background, which is OK in this case. It's a bit like the sky, but it's got detail in it. And again, I can drag down, go around it, make sure I get quite a bit, but I don't want to go down because it will then start dragging some of the puffings on the ground in. So if anything, I'm going to go up and add some more of this C. Something like that. I'll let go. And it's boom. Absolutely brilliant. OK, next we'll try a more complex Hmm, let's try and get rid of this boat and this little bit of a boy there. Now if I click and drag across that, it does its best to figure it out, but it gets it wrong. Again, I can use the forward slash key to make it recalculate. Uh, keep going, keep going. That's not really much good. Oh, that's no, a bit better. Um, the longer, ooh, the longer you go, probably the better chance you've got of getting something that's good, or it can end up just being worse. Okay, well actually that's not bad. That is not bad at all. But let's reset that, and we'll try it again. I've got a nice big brush, but I'm just going to try and move it so it's it's just not touching the shore, and we'll go just in there. Oh, got a bit there, but we'll we'll see if we've got away with it. No, we haven't. OK, we've got a little bit in here. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just drop my brush size down a bit. And I'll click outside, so I'm defining another point. Oops, I might have done it again. Oh, no, no, I've got away with it that time. OK, uh, and then I'll go from this side. Click and drag just into there over that bit. And that, oh, no, no, let me try and recalculate that then. Oh, no, I'm getting worse. It's getting worse. No, <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting, oh, that's not bad. All right. So I'll go and get some water from underneath again. So I'll start outside. I'll click and drag and just go over that bit, try and keep away from that shore. And it's gone. Oh, all right, I've got a bit of a repeating pattern there. So I could try just to come from outside. Oh, I've done it again. No, let me edit and undo. Edit and undo. You can see how, how it's it's not, you know, for the, with the wrong image, it's not great, this. So I'll just go along, but you can fix it. I just don't want it to go on that shore. And uh, no, that's pretty cool. So, OK, let's try it on something bigger. So we'll go up this rope, see if we can get rid of that. That's pretty good. We'll then go around this boat. We'll take the shadow in as well and just try and fill it in. So we'll go at that, but leave a little bit more of the water in there is what I've found works best. And then if we let go, Oh, that's not done a bad job. There's a little bit of uh, ookiness going on there. So again, start outside, click and drag over it, and it's gone. And um, yeah, for a large object, that's not a bad edit, I don't think. Next one, let's go for something that is really difficult. And this one is not going to work very well. Uh, so let's have a nice big brush because it, it's close to the to the edge at the top and the bottom. They're, they're, they're totally different um, textures. 
so you know even if we try this one let's go around and make sure we've got plenty of pixels in there mm, there we go oh, we'll go a bit more on top and then we let it go and my guess is it's going to make a right old mess it'll probably take a little bit oh there we go so I can ask it to recalculate no it's really another tool that you need to be able to do oh that's even worse so in summary really this is this tool isn't for, for getting rid of, of big areas if we look at this we can see that it, it's for getting rid of smaller spots small to medium size it will handle you know some medium sized things but this one just one click uh, gone uh, we've got some nice pixels around this bird so if I wanted to get rid of that click and it's gone I've got some nice foliage around this bird this turn at the bottom click and it's gone this one okay let's zoom in a bit and you can see that it, its tail is just on the edge of this rock now this is going to be a problem so I can make my brush nice and small I can try my best to fiddle about with it to get it just in there but that's probably going to bring some sky in well, which it does I'll try and get me get the whole of the bird in and that's going to bring some of the rocks in uh, but then I can probably start outside again like we said just fairly smaller brush uh, click and drag and try and just eat away at them bits mm, yeah, it gets a bit more difficult as you get more points uh, and you're just looking at saying well okay from a distance that maybe doesn't look too bad oh that one's not bad so if we zoom out now let's go back to fit on screen mm, you're probably not going to notice that we can see, oh we've got another one there let's get rid of him as well get that one but again it's got quite a few pixels around it so if I just do it like that it should give me a good fit yeah and I think that's pretty cool I think to summarize really it, it's for spots and small to medium sort of things you want to get rid of but you do need some nice pixels uh, around the sides of your subject to be able to make it work and make it work quickly so that's the content aware remove tool in the latest update of Lightroom it really is a game changer in my opinion to speed up your editing workflow so more jobs you can do in Lightroom without having to visit Photoshop so if you found the video useful please give me a thumbs up or even better leave me a comment it really does help me reach more YouTube learners and please click the subscribe button at the bottom of every page on the website so you don't miss future episodes. Okay, I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.